Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Dreamer Phoenix Tarot. My name is Quentin, and I will be doing the reading, the general weekly reading for the sign of cancer uh, right now. So, uh, again, welcome to my channel. This is my first time that I've uh, posted for uh, cancer. I've been posting for the, um, the signs, um, you know, this week, really, for the first time, for all of them, for the first time. So, I just want to kind of give my my reading skills and abilities and talents to YouTube. Well, you see, I don't have any card shuffling abilities, but these cards are hard to shuffle, so don't blame me for that. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, so a little bit of background about me. My name is Quentin, and I live in San Diego, California. And originally I'm from Alabama but I've been living in San Diego for 17 years and I came out here due to being active duty uh, military in the Navy but I am a veteran now so but over the last couple years or so um, I've just developed more of my intuition more of my psychic abilities my clairvoyance my uh, just empathic uh, you know abilities and I've just been learning so many other healing techniques and other things, you know, besides tarot cards, I've been learning dream interpretation and uh, just other little uh, healing modalities and just other things that I've been involved in. So this is what I'm doing. So I watch a lot of uh, YouTube readers, you know, I get my own insight from certain YouTube readers that I watch, um, <laughs> you know, so... I kind of just want to get into the little foray myself and do that. So in the description box, I will have a link to the services and things that I offer as well. And if you want a personal reading with me, then that way you'll know how to get in contact with me. And I also have a description of the cards that I'm using today. Um, I'm using the Psychic Oracle Love Tarot or Heart Tarot. I forgot which one. And the Oceanic Tarot. So, I just thought, okay, I'm doing water signs, so, you know, especially we, we just got out of cancer season, you know, just recently. So, you know, it's all about the love, the emotions, the water, the depths, the ebbs, the flows, the drama sometimes, but let's get into the reading. <laughs> okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for the cancer what messages do you have for the cancer? <clears throat> How funny, I was just shuffling and I saw this card earlier. So, and I apologize for the noise, uh, you all. I live on a very active street, so there's constantly activity going on, so. But anyway, Cancer, the first card that came out to you, that's um, the overall energy of this reading or what's, build, what's built up thus far to this energy is manifest. So with manifest, and I'll show you what the card is right here. So there it is, manifest. So with this card, this is telling me that there's something that you're hoping for or something that you're wishing to gain or something that you're wishing to just manifest in your life. And uh, also, let me just uh, note if this, this reading is for the sun sign of cancer. However, this can be for any cancer that may fall in your chart and any of your other signs. So if certain parts do not resonate, you know, um, maybe that's why. But if this reading resonates, then I appreciate it. But if it does not, then don't make it try to fit. Don't try to make it fit into where it doesn't. And this could be for a cross watcher as well who is dealing with a cancer. And so I do, my readings are just general. So it could be talking about love, but it could also be talking about money and finances, uh, work, school situations, family, friends, any life situations. But I just feel as if right now in this energy, something, someone around you, cancer, or you yourself is just trying to make something happen, magically happen, just manifest something. 
um, something that they've been working towards or something that they've been hoping for because this manifest card uh, pretty much equates to the magician and you know the magician is a person who is able to who is a great manifester who has all the tools that they need somebody somebody who's very in control of themselves very in control of their lives and just knows how to really work the system you know and when I say work the system, that could mean anything. Work the system could mean working the inner beings of their lives, uh, working the system, working the actual system, wherever they work. You know, if this is a work situation or a situation that's dealing with career, but this is just somebody who really knows how to manipulate the environment. And so it came out in the um, upright position. So, you know, I'm not taking this. Sometimes a magic magician can be somebody who's controlling. So this could be someone who might be trying to control the environment. But I don't get a ominous feeling about this. I just feel as this is someone who is just trying to create something. Someone who's just been in the... <clears throat> Maybe someone who's not had a lot or felt as if they've not had enough when all the time they really have had the tools and they've had the things that they've needed. They might not have had the things that they've wanted necessarily, but they've always had the things that they've needed. But now they're in a space or now they're at some point or some place in their life where they are realizing that, okay, well, I had everything that I needed all along. So now let me just make magic happen. Let me create circumstances for myself let me get myself out of certain certain things certain situations i have i have what i need to do this i have what i need to create this life for me that i want so it could be that way but we'll see what the energy is that led up to this current state right now like i said this is the energy that i start off with this is in the middle of the deck but we'll see what happened in the past and then what happened um you know in the meantime in between time that led up you know to all of this manifestation you know magic happening energy so i'm going to use the oceanic deck to clarify so Hmm. All right. So the two of cups came out in reverse. <clears throat> so this person now, all right, are they trying to, they want to manifest a love situation? Because the two of cups speaks about partnership and the two of cups speaks about, um, you know, just a com commitment and, you know, it takes two to tango. So this person, are they now, I feel they now trying to manifest the situation or a partnership or something, some kind of collaboration that didn't happen in the past. And keep in mind, as I said, this could mean a love situation. So someone could have been rejected. Someone could have been the person doing the rejection or... You know, just something ha didn't happen with this coming together. So, if this is related to work, it's somebody who didn't partner up, somebody who's regretting that they didn't take this partnership, and someone who's trying to manifest this partnership over again. <clears throat> Some just, a just whatever merger this was, somebody I don't think. <laughs> Too many cards. I don't think someone took the bait <laughs> I don't know why that term just dropped in my head but someone didn't want it at first but now it seems as if they maybe changed their minds a bit and now they want to go towards something so all right so yeah something that happened in the past so there was some offer of love there was some offer that was given towards someone or some something that was given or some new new renewal of love or just this chance of love but it's clarified by the seven of 
Pentacles. And okay, so uh, this noise. I apologize for you all. It makes me have to yell now. So whatever happened in the past, there was some rejection of love or there was not feeling as if there wasn't enough love in the situation or someone didn't feel as if they had enough to give. So, <clears throat> you know, someone wasn't working on it. Yeah. Someone didn't see potential in a relationship anymore. Someone lost the potential or they didn't see Okay, yeah, they didn't see what it was that was worth working on or worth fighting for anymore or worth going towards. So they were just wondering, well, why am I giving to this situation anymore? So this could have been someone who, someone who didn't see the best in you and they maybe left you or you, this could have been you leaving someone else because you didn't see any more potential into this relationship or whatever this um, partnership was of some sort. So because there was no potential in it anymore, so someone left. Someone felt as, okay, why am I here? Why am I, try why am I trying to invest in something that's no longer happening? Why am I trying to invest in something that's no longer that no longer serves me or no more love is there so because someone wasn't feeling the love someone left i believe and they stopped investing they stopped investing in this in this partnership but then it seems that someone or something happened where someone just had this clarity and they they just had this new way they started thinking differently they st they really started they started really i guess taking some insight taking some clarity taking some inventory into themselves into their own lives and you know i say that because the clarity of belief card came out right there so this card is talking about some kind of communication some kind of thought process so Somebody was probably thinking about this love situation that went the other way, that went awry. You know, again, uh, someone not putting, not investing enough because the seven of pentacles came out in reverse. So they weren't investing in this love situation right here. So because they weren't investing in this love situation, someone left, someone maybe got ghosted. I don't know what happened, but somebody just left. But then somebody came to, you know, ever since this happened, someone's been just really in their head about it. And they've been really thinking about it. And they probably come to some new conclusions about this and maybe really had to take a look at their toxic behaviors and their toxic patterns and things that they've been doing because this is the vortex card. So this is temptation and this card represents the devil um, in Tarot, which actually represents me because it represents the, the Capricorn and I'm a Capricorn. So <laughs> the devil card represents the addictions, the temptations, the just releasing yourself and breaking yourself free from those chains, releasing yourself from those chains. So someone's probably had to really release themselves from some chains or some toxic behaviors probably had to think about their own toxic ways of thinking and just really had to change that and now because they've now because they've thought about this situation before in the past and they have come to some new conclusions and maybe looked at their own toxic behaviors and maybe seen some toxic behaviors that have been going on in their lives and maybe some people could be family could be friends that they've kind of tolerated and allowed into their lives now it's just caused them to want to go back towards this love situation and cause them to want to manifest and just create something different with that and yeah with this one where well, we have clarity of belief that's well actually we have two aces right here so far we know we have the love abounds that's a number one that's the card number one on the card so it's pretty much the ace of cups then we have clarity of belief that's the ace so you can say that's the ace of swords 
And then next to that, we have the manifest, which is the magician. That's the number one as well. So we have three number ones here. So, you know, that's one, one, one. And one speaks about the self and speaks about just um, nurturing the self, taking care of self and just that self love and self unity. So I feel as if someone's had to do some self love and self evaluation here and some self realization to come to this current energy and current conclusions. And especially with there being three ones here, right here so far, now number three represents expansion, expression. So now they really want to express and expand. So yes, um, as I said, now we're in this current energy of them wanting to manifest a new beginning of something and manifest this new beginning of uh, this partnership or this maybe whatever this um, partnership was in the past. And it's a very emotional for them because the sacral chakra card comes out. So number two right there. So the sacral chakra that represents the second chakra within our bodies represented by the orange. And it just represents our creativity and our emotions. So, so yeah, so someone wants to create, someone is working on creating, you know, this new beginning with them. And they're doing a lot of thinking with this and really just ma really manifesting because now we're in the, the hermit energy. We're in that energy of them being alone. We're in that energy of them just being in their head and just really thinking and really just contemplating and going within themselves and exploring their emotions because this is probably someone who's been very closed off with their emotions, who really didn't focus on their emotions a lot in the past. But now that they're in this hermit energy, they're really taking inventory and really taking stock into their emotions. And they're really in that, that, that phase of, <clears throat> that phase of really just trying to understand themselves. You know, as I said, they've probably not been a very emotional person to begin with. And maybe this is why in the beginning, someone stopped investing into this relationship. It could have been them that stopped investing into it, or it could have been someone else who recognized that, okay, this person is not very in touch with their emotions, so I can't reach them. Why am I putting myself on the line? Why am I putting my emotions on the line? So again, you take that as you will, however that resonates, could be for love, could be you, could be for work, could be for money, study, finances, family, a family member as well. You know, sometimes family members are cut off uh, you know, so it doesn't matter who it is, but I just feel as if it was a situation where it was something that wasn't being invested in anymore. So, and, but there is potential for success and growth with this situation. So there is potential for, oh, okay. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles that came out as well. So this clarified it. So as I said, there is potential for growth because this is the um, uh, the card in the traditional tarot. This represents the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, this is the Eight of Pentacles and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And somehow I knew this card was going to come out because I was doing a meditation earlier and the ace of pentacles popped in my mind so this big coin popped in my mind so okay so the potential for this relationship it has potential to grow you know because again we have the seven of pentacles that came out first but this came out because someone stopped investing in it but now with this eight of pentacles i feel and especially with this magician coming out if someone is willing to put in the work and work on their emotions and work on the partnership then i feel you know and it takes two to tango so but i feel as if one person was probably investing a bit more than the other person was so now if both parties can potentially come together or you know get on board of the same program there could be potential growth for the relationship and just but there there will take work though again they'll take work from both parts you know it takes uh uh, you have to take care of something. You can't just, okay, plant a seed and then just leave it 
and not water it, not tend to it, not, you know, nurture it and help it grow. You know, you can't neglect it. So if this, if there's going to be work, if there's going to be this new relationship that's forming, there has to be work that's put into this. And, you know, this is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So there can be a new beginning, a new beginning of prosperity, new beginning of possibilities, you know, with this relationship as well. So, and the outcome card, all right, all these pentacles that came out. So, you know, with the pentacles, they represent the physical part. They represent the money of the Capricorn, you know, the earth signs. And again, like I said, I'm an earth sign. So, you know, just, um, the three of pentacles came out right here, but the base chakra as well, too. So the base chakra, um, you know, is telling me that, yes, both parties need to put in work. Both parties need to be very grounded in this situation. And both parties also need to work together because the three of pentacles is about collaboration. The three of pentacles is about working together to accomplish something, you know. So again, this could easily be a work situation, but no matter what it is, if it's work, if it's a relationship, if it's studying in school, if it's trying to manage your finances, it's all about balancing. It's all about grounding your energy, your primitive, you know, your base chakra, you know, and just grounding yourself and grounding your energies and your emotions and working together. You have to work together within yourself. You have to ground everything within yourself, but then you have to collaborate with other people as well, you know, especially in relationships and love. It takes two to tango in those romantic relationships and family relationships. You have to deal with multiple people and, you know, just multiple emotions and feelings. In work relationships, you have a supervisor. You have people who fall under you, who are working under you, who are working for you, who you have to manage. And the, all these relationships just correlate. So however this reading resonates with you, you know, you take that. And this could, if this is love, I'm going to say this is possibly twin flame, <laughs> you know, because I see just 1111, because again, we have another number one right here. We have the number one with... Granted, this one was in the upright, I mean, in the reverse position, but this is how it looks upright. So, but they're both, they're all number one. So, we're number one. <laughs> all right, <laughs> enough of my jokes, but 111. So, 1111. So, you know, whenever I see that, I always give an 1111 prayer. So, Cancer, you all get my 1111 prayer today. So at 1111, I send my vibrations and my energies of unconditional love, divine peace, love, light, healing, blessings, security, protection, abundance, prosperity, health, wealth, compassion, stability, um, freedom, change, creativity, and forgiveness, healing, and gratitude to the planet to the galaxy and to the entire universe and to all these realms and to all the things within these realms so that I may give and receive these same energies every day. Amen, blessed be, and so it is. So that's my little prayer that I say every time I see 1111 or I see 1111 in some random place or something. So, which is actually funny because the other day I thought, I bet I see 1111, I see these four ones in some place and I'm going to say this on camera and now look at you cancer you're the lucky ones you all get to hear my 1111 prayer so cancer I hope that all resonated with you our cross watcher whoever is watching this video and just keep looking for my weekly videos and I will talk to you all later bye and have a great day